Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be ripping the Gas Gas or the most underrated bike in MX Bikes. Uh, it's right in the 250 right now. I don't know what the hype is behind the Gas Gas right now, but i um, seen a lot of people using it and I was like, okay. And then I saw Thumbnail of Lynn's video and he was riding it. So, uh, I'm sure that has something to, do with, something to do with it. Also, somebody in my Discord said the same thing. So, uh, speaking of Discord, if you guys want to join it, link is in the description. It's just uh, a fun one. You can get onto the racing team as well. So, uh, if you want to join the racing team, go ahead and join the Discord. And uh, just need your amount of hours. I'll ask for some lap times. And um, just a few, few other things, you know what I'm saying? But... Uh, yeah, and then if you guys just want to hang out or just talk to me while I'm streaming or something, go ahead and um, join the Discord. We can get, join the VC when I'm streaming. I'll have a good time racing or what, whatever it is. I feel like that would also be pretty fun. But, um, yeah, so right now we are just hanging out. Uh, a track I haven't seen in a long time. MXGP of Feniza or Feniza. I'm not sure like how to say it, but um, link is in the description if you guys seem to like the track and you don't already have it, which is the case for a lot of people. I would assume older track, a lot of new players um, in the game since this one's come out. This one's really good. It's been updated, I think, uh, maybe once or twice. I don't know, but. I remember it was updated, so, um, still just a really solid track, and uh, I'm still trying to relearn it a little bit, I spun a lap before the video, before recording, so, um, there's that, got my little, my little warm up, you guys can see a 144.03, obviously not great if you guys know the laps on this track, which I personally don't, but I just know that. I think I crashed in there somewhere, so um, and just didn't take the fastest of the lines. So um, we're not going for any heaters or anything. I'm just going to talk about the gas gas. Uh, first thing first, its gearing is a lot different, and it's also the same thing as the Husqvarna. So you're basically just riding a Husqvarna with some visual changes, which is uh, which is fine. I mean, like obviously spice it up a little bit with the the reddish color. And, uh, kind of, like, want to call it a pink. I mean, look at the C. I don't know if that shows up well in the recording, but, I mean, looks like it shows up pretty red in there, but, yeah, it's, it looks good, I guess. Uh, I like the gas gas. When I first got these OEMs, all I rode was the gas gas, and, uh, me and my friend were really big into enduro at the time, and so we were riding the gas gas 350 quite a bit as well. And it was pretty fun riding that on enduro and just riding it in general i ripped it out uh and just played with it <laughs> oh those two those two uh combinations of words there don't don't really go together well do they <laughs> um yeah so i ripped it out played with it and then i uh, found that it was some fun and then i found the kx and uh it's like the first time riding a different bike other than the YZ video I did the other day. Which actually came out yesterday. But, um, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the video videos, which uh, it looks like you guys are, I still just got to come up with some uh, better better track ideas, better video ideas. It's, uh, I'm not going to say views are going down, just uh, I'm not getting the... Uh, extra blow up video at, after like every five videos i get one that kind of goes above the others if that makes any sense and uh, i haven't seen that as of late but um we'll see we'll see what happens in these next couple of days with the videos upload the past two days both of them are pretty good videos especially yesterday's or today's i guess video it would be yesterday's for you guys um Dude, it was, I thought that one was really good. First run with the shaders on a fast, uh, wide open track. 
Maybe should have considered riding the uh, 125, the 125, or the 150. I'm sorry for all you uh, English uh, people watching and had to listen to me say 125, because uh, I'm pretty sure my accent is some. Uh, it's pretty buns, you know. And um, if you guys are interested in football as well. Um, Go ahead. Also, join the Discord. There is a link in the description to join it. And uh, talk football, because, man, that's something I love. I'll tell you that much. And um, just something that I really find passionate. If you guys want to talk about the NFL ever, my American viewers, go ahead and hit me up in the Discord. And give me have some hot takes or your fantasy football team. I don't know. We'll, we'll you know obviously oh and uh, i'm also looking for video sponsors and video sponsors and just sponsorship deals in general so if anyone has any ideas of like easy sponsorships to get in with uh let me know and uh i will definitely check them out or uh vice versa if you guys have a sponsorship and lead them on to me, it'd be great. But um, whatever the deal is, whatever the case is, um, doesn't matter. Still got to wait till I'm a little bit bigger. Uh, you know, eat some more, grow some more, and uh, we could talk a little bit more about like big boy stuff like that. But uh, as of now, I'm just uh, enjoying creating videos for you guys and uh, trying to produce some uh, good content obviously that's what i've been after this whole time and i'm finally just starting to find my groove um, i'm trying to finalize a schedule right now for my for myself um always been a little bit uh lazy and um i haven't been hard on myself uh like ever self-discipline always been uh missing from my life and i think that i finally got it a little bit I guess I've always been a little bit harder on myself, but not when it comes to commitment. Uh, that's where the self-discipline really comes in and uh, whatnot. So, yeah, I'm trying to finalize a schedule right now, just get into a heavy groove and um, and just work my way to uh, success, I guess we can say. And I'm already finding quite a bit of that on this channel. And I'm happy that you guys are watching. And I'll make sure to also live stream as well. And um, I do have to warn you guys, I have a couple of house sitting jobs. I'm going to be gone for weeks at a time. Uh, late October, I think from the 21st to something, uh, I'll be gone. So no uploads. Uh, and so that kind of sucks. But uh, I think I can use the break by the time that, that comes around. And then early November also, it's going to be like four days, I think. But... Yeah, it's some some bit little small jobs I'm doing just to, to get along extra money as I just bought a uh, CPU or a processor for my computer and um, just that sort of deal. We're making a good rut right there. And so yeah, I just could use the extra money and uh, probably the break by the time that all hits. And then also October like 7th through the 12th, I might expect it not to be uploading. Um, if I don't upload, uh, it's just because my processor or my computer is uh, getting worked on. I don't. Put, I'm not going to put the part in myself. Very dangerous stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, probably just better off paying a $60 fee to go get it done. Uh, after you buy a $300 part. So, uh, my I got an i9. I don't know if you guys are heavy into that, but I got an, a Ryzen 9 at first. Realized it wasn't compatible with my motherboard, so we're going to go ahead and return that. And um, we ended up buying a i9 instead. And then uh, we have an appointment October 7th when the part is supposed to come in. And I'm just trying to get it done as early as possible. Make, uh, make my life a lot easier with the new processor. There are a few things that uh, I, I'm hoping it'll help, and uh, a few things I know it'll help. So, all of that's pretty good. 
and then um, we'll talk about the track and the bike a little bit. The bike, like I said, it's the exact same thing as the Husky Husqvarna, and uh, just different looks, just uh, red and pink or whatever. And um, the gearing on it, I've noticed, is very different. Um, second gear, so third gear on the KTM is like high second gear on this thing. This thing has long gears and uh, makes it really good for motocross. Supercross is a little bit harder to find that, that median. I rode it on Supercross, I think last night I was kind of goofing off and uh, rode it on Supercross round 12. Supercross, we almost pull a full 360. Uh, that might even be like the first crash of the video. So uh, maybe when you're focused on your words, you crash even less, but you go a bit slower. Uh, so, as I was saying, the gearing is a little bit weird. Uh, it's a bit slower. And um, third gear, I realized, is really nice because of the amount of time it takes to reach the max and then the bottom of it. So the bottom of third gear you get the, uh, you still get the acceleration, and then uh, by the top time of the uh, by the time you're at the top of third gear, you're already going a fast speed, so you're doing all that without shifting, so you still have good acceleration and uh, a good top speed without shifting in third gear, which is nice. Obviously, you want to have that. Um, like right here, do this whole straight. I'm going to shift up to fourth. That's like the first time doing that though. So, um, yeah, also I'm probably going to be streaming on this channel a little bit more often. If you guys are, uh, interested in that, keep, uh, the post notifications on and it'll tell you when I stream and, uh, you guys can tune in. I'll be very active with chat. If anyone decides to, to come join and then um, also, we'll be doing races with you guys viewing and in the Discord. So, like I said, if you're not already in the Discord, go join it. Um, and then, if you are um, watching the stream, make sure to uh, say something or ask what server I'm in. I'm sure it'll be a public lobby, and uh, I'm sure we can play. So, uh, just something fun I thought we could do. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to try to wrap this one up pretty soon here. Already been going on 13 minutes, which is, uh, kind of crazy. So, uh, feels like no time at all. And, uh, if you guys want this track, like I said, track is in the description. The, uh, the link to it. If I can ever find it. If, if I, it's not in the description, I can't find the link to it. It is that old of a track, but I'm sure I'll be able to find it somewhere. And uh, I want you guys to go ahead and enjoy it as well. And uh, if you guys want the Hearn shaders, uh, which I modified a little bit to look like the game make look like this, I'll show you real quick what it looks like without uh, all the shaders on and stuff. So very dark game, right? Very something that you don't <laughs> like. It's just it just looks really different and. Um, very just dark and uh, the shaders all around are some of the best things in this game I'm not gonna lie to you I cannot ride without my shaders although when I do have my shaders on and I join a loaded lobby I have to turn them off because I just too many frames or too too low a frame rate so uh, go ahead and turn these all on clarity doesn't even do anything so Go ahead and just turn them back on. Now the game looks weird. I feel like I'm missing one. One of the shaders. Um, but yeah. I definitely am missing one of the shaders. That is like for sure. This one right here. Yep. Alright. So, back to this. We'll go spin the rest of this lap, I guess. I don't... Did I say this wrap? I, I don't know what I said. But uh, we got a little ways to the finish line. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have come to enjoy the most recent videos, and um, I am more than thankful for your guys' support as of late. 
it's been uh, nice having an audience a uh, very very good audience as well you guys are not slacking and I'm uh, really happy to see it. I have not made that inside like all video long same with this one this one probably is important as well so you can get a good lap time but um, I'm just very appreciative of everything so far and I can't wait to grow some more end of the year goal for me is probably sitting at about 500 still uh, I'm not going to change it, but it's definitely going to be a challenge to get there, especially if I'm going to be taking those breaks. I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, so if everyone watching and want to continue watching, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. And uh, hopefully we hit that goal by no time, but uh, I feel like it's going to be a lot harder than that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you are watching and not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video it helps me out a lot and uh, love to see it also comment on the video if you didn't like anything constructive criticism whatever it is if you didn't like something in the video tell me in the comments below what it was I'll try my best to fix whatever it was you didn't like if I think it is reasonable to fix and uh, yeah we're all adults here uh, I don't know where that came from but yeah see you guys later